All right, people. So this is why you don't touch a car when it's a lost key for like a rental. So the guy from the car calls me that I need to make a key to that car and I don't want to uh, record over there because there's people involved without permission, right? So, so I tell him, hey, you know what? I cannot touch the car because there's, it's in the street, it's a rental, I don't know who's there, whatever, it's residential. So what happens is that I get there, I open the car, the alarm goes on, the customer comes out and he says, man, this is a car that you rent to, rented to me. So right now they're trying to sort out what is going on. But in the meantime, if I had started without the owner being here or the police being here, I would have been in trouble. So never touch a car when you don't have the owner present. So amigos, ¿qué pasó? Me hablan para hacer la llave para este carro que porque es un carro de renta y que el cuate no quiere devolver la llave. Pero nunca yo toco un carro porque puede pasar un incidente. Vino la policía. Uh, afortunadamente este es el dueño del carro, del, del renta carros. Pero yo le dije yo no toco el carro si no está la policía o este o tú estás aquí porque es tu carro. Entonces ahorita están tratando de resolver el problema. ¿Por qué? Porque eh, parece que hubo un, un problema de identificación de los vehículos y el cuate agarró otro el carro que no era. De cualquier manera, pues eh, nunca toquen un carro de llaves perdidas si el dueño o la policía no está aquí.